What's up, Coaster Demons? Today's Coaster War will be Intimidator at Carowinds versus Nitro at Six Wise Great Adventure. Anyways, let's get right into this Coaster War. Alright, so starting off with the height category, Intimidator is 232 feet tall, while Nitro is 230 feet tall, so Intimidator will be gaining this point. Next up is the speed category, Intimidator goes 75 miles per hour, while Nitro goes 80 miles per hour, so Nitro is going to be gaining this point. Alright, next up is the drop category, and this is just what I think, which drop I like better, and personally, I definitely prefer Nitro's drop over it. Intimidator's drop has good air time, but Nitro's drop has really strong air time in the back row. Intimidator's air time in the, on the drop was still really good, actually, but I definitely do prefer Nitro's drop over Intimidator's drop, so Nitro's going to be gaining this point. Alright, next up is the airtime category, and this is where Intimidator falls apart. Those turns prevent you from getting any airtime on those hills. Maybe you'll get a little bit, but barely any. Um, while Nitro does have some trims, those trims are usually never on, so you always get lifted out of your seat on every airtime hill. Those final airtime hills in the back will give flow ejector, and when the mid course isn't even on, you get ejector airtime on those final hills. Um, Intimidator just really didn't have any airtime from what I remember, except for the drop. The drop was the only moment that really had airtime from what I remember. Um, and I just found that very disappointing with Intimidator, because Nitro gives airtime over every single hill. Intimidator didn't. So, without a doubt, Nitro is definitely gaining this point. Alright, next up is the smoothness category, and Nitro is butter smooth. However, on Intimidator, it felt like the train was going to fall apart, basically the whole ride. The ride was very rattly, which was surprising because I heard Intimidator was butter smooth. However, I felt it to be very rattly. Nitro, on the other hand, is extremely smooth and it's really never rattly. So without a doubt, Nitro is gaining this point. Next up is the theming category, and Nitro has no theming at all, literally none. However, on the other hand... Intimidator is themed to Dale Earnhardt. It has the Dale Earnhardt race car, some stats about Dale Earnhardt, some race flags. So yeah, Intimidator is definitely taking this point because Intimidator actually has some theming on White Nitro. Alright, so next up is the restraints category and both of these coasters have the B&M Chrome Show restraints. So both of these coasters will be earning a point. Alright, next up is the intensity category and Intimidator is not intense at all. It holds no forces. Nitro, on the other hand, has this very intense helix, which makes you gray out almost every time. Even some people can black out on it. That's how intense it is. So Nitro is definitely more intense than Intimidator, so Nitro is going to be earning this point. All right, so that ends off this Coaster War, and the winner of this Coaster War is Nitro at Six Flies Great Adventure. Congratulations to Nitro. You have beaten out Intimidator at Carowinds by a final score of 6-3. to three. I definitely prefer Nitro over Intimidator. Nitro is in my top 15. It is actually number 11 currently in my rankings, while Intimidator is literally right outside my top 35. That's very low for a B&M Hyper coaster on my rankings. The other two B&M Hyper coasters I've ridden are both in my top 15, Apollo's Cherry and Nitro, while Intimidator is literally right outside my top 35. Um, Nitro has strong airtime over every single hill. Intimidator just really didn't have any airtime from what I remember except for the drop. I think I might just need another ride on Intimidator, but from what I remember my ride on Intimidator was I didn't get that much airtime at all. Um, while Nitro gives airtime on basically every single one of its hills. So yeah. That is going to end off this coaster war. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, also follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all next time. Keep coasting on my coaster demons. Peace.